Questions to the Cabinet member will now take place. Yes. Question number 12, Councillor MacDonald. Uh, question number 12, please, to the Cabinet member. Supplementary, please. Um, well, after the previous um, debate that we've just had, can I just see how uninspiring and frankly disappointing I find the answer here, um, and that it would be dismissed as a fruitless exercise to look at a policy which is potentially cost neutral and would certainly enhance the lives of thousands of private um, renters across Wandsworth. And you know, if you, if you don't know what the reasons for doing that might be. I invite you to come to Graveney or to Tooting or to Firstdown and see the state of some of the accommodation that people are living in, in private rented accommodation. And it's not um, accommodation that any of us would want to live in. So I would just invite uh, councillors to come, come and I'll show you around at some point. But I would like to ask a question and my question is this. So in his answer he says um, that he states that a council must not make a designation for selective licensing unless it has considered whether there are any other courses of action available that might provide an effective method of achieving that objective. So I would just like to be updated on what it is that you're doing and um, what are the courses of action that are available that you're looking at and can we be um, briefed on that and updated on that please. Councillor Hampton, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Hampton. I think he was exactly right. I, 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 was, I was just curious if uh, the Cabinet member could tell me. Um, obviously, Councillor McDonald thinks that's a, a, an excellent idea. I was just wondering if any other boroughs in London uh, were considering such a scheme. I particularly think of some of our neighbouring Labour boroughs that might think it's a wonderful idea of, to do something similar like that.
Councillor Hart. Question 13 of the Housing Cabinet Member. Is the um, Cabinet member surprised by these Labour councillors? Both charge much higher council tax for poorer services. If they can't do the basics, what chance of ma major regeneration there? Councillor Ambush. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Question 14 to the Cabinet Member, please. the cabinet member for her answer in a written answer she asked me more questions i think i'm asking the questions and you're doing the answering the mayor wouldn't let me answer all those questions so my supplementary is this it's particularly about item c is some six weeks or so ago since we took on the youth service and looking forward i was wondering about what the costs are and i'm told that we don't know what they are at the moment so when will we know what the cost of the service are and will she let us know whether she's able to maintain the current level of service when, she make, when she's got the costs?
Second supplemental, Mr Mayor. Councillor Peterkin. Um, does the Cabinet member agree with me that Councillor Ambrose's ill-informed and cynical statement to the ones with Guardian on this matter was to uh, use the word of the moment deplorable, uh, redolent of the Liberal Democrat Party, and will only have served to cause unnecessary distress to some of our most vulnerable families? And will she further agree, uh, join me in congratulating uh, the Council staff with the speed and efficiency with which they brought these services back in-house? Some explanation, Mr. Mayor. Can I pass an explanation? Councillor, I really wasn't trying to start. I was really trying to. Can I finish the sentence? I was trying to have a debate about whether we'd made the right decision a year ago for the service that had gone bust, and I think there are some quest questions to be asked. Thank you. Carry on, Councillor McDonald. Uh, Thank you, Councillor. Mrs. Dunn. Uh, I thank the, uh, the Councillor, Councillor Dunn, for, um, for, for the question. Um, as with uh, the Leader, touched on uh, affordable housing and there are a number of other themes where the Mayor is already uh, uh, disappointed on uh, promises he made during his, uh, his election campaign. And uh, as it's, uh, so it is with trees. Made some very grand claims. Uh, of course, you don't, uh, you don't uh, plant trees evenly throughout the year, so that means he would have to plant rather more than 10,000 uh, trees a week uh, to catch up with his target. But we haven't heard a thing. Uh, not a thing. Uh, so, uh, so it really is rather worrying. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't seem as though he's anywhere near going to hit this target. Of course, he could do. Uh, he could do worse than look at our record, uh, which is one of solid achievement. It's rather better than the answer indicates. Uh, it's been an average of around about 250 a year for the last few years, uh, and in 13-14, uh, we planted about 1,400. Uh, so I would uh, suggest uh, we're doing rather well. And of course, uh, trees, as we all know, are an important part of the, the character of the borough. Councillor Mrs Dunn. Second supplementary. Um, I do tend to agree with the Cabinet member that this might just have been a rather over-optimistic election promise because uh, two million trees is uh, a lot of trees. And uh, if you take the fact that there are 32 London boroughs, that means that our allocation would be about 62,000 trees. I would love 62,000 extra trees in Wandsworth, but I don't quite see where they would go. Um, but on a more serious point, um, I did try and find out how we could request our allocation of, might not be 62,000, but a few thousand would be nice, even a few hundred, and I couldn't find the information. And I know that this actually, um, there was a program run under the previous mayor, Boris Johnson, and he successfully planted 20,000 trees. And that worked incredibly well. And I did wonder if someone somewhere put an extra zero on the election literature. And what they meant to say was 20,000 trees, and they turned it into 2 million trees. So my question to the cabinet member is, um, would he be prepared to work with me to contact Groundwork and see if we can put in an application for some trees in the borough and I have a number of streets where I've had residents actively write to me and request for extra trees or trees which not extra but trees that don't exist yet in their streets and I believe it is still groundwork. I've tried to get in touch with them. I haven't had any response yet so I would appreciate his help. Well, I thank, uh, thank uh, Councillor Dunn for the question. The answer is a resounding and enthusiastic yes, of course. Uh, and she may be interested to know, I have a note here, we have 65,000 trees in the borough. So if the mayor is going to give us 62,000, that's going to double them. 
people as a thought. Uh, I, I, I very much look forward to the Mayor trying that. Um, uh, but yes, uh, do anything uh, we can to, uh, to increase the number of trees further. Uh, members may be interested to know that uh, we have at the moment 643 empty tree pits uh, in the borough uh, and we're doing every, everything we can each winter to if we possibly can fill a tree pit. Can't always fill them quickly for reasons we probably all know, uh, but if we can fill them quickly, we will. So if there's anything we can do to accelerate that, uh, I'll be very keen to do it. So thank you. Thank you. Councillor White. Supplementary. Councillor White. Um, I know, despite uh, the answer, uh, I, and we're talking about aspirations, so let's be really aspirational, uh, because I note that the percentage of affordable housing in the scheme, uh, as you've said, has risen to 25%, and you're congratulating yourself on that. Although the, uh, the long-term target for this council is 33%, and the mayor's target is 50%. Uh, can the cabinet minister confirm we will reach and indeed surpass the 33% figure? Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Councillor Mike for his supplementary. As he, as he rightly says, the mayor's target is 33%. Uh, and uh, as he said, it's the mayor's target is 50%. Uh, so the mayor's target is It's, uh, it's not exactly uh, an exact science, 
um, but I think we will, and uh, um, we are actually delivering far more freedom than that. Just about anywhere else in London, uh, and indeed, um, Deputy Mayor uh, obviously would not like to be reminded that when he was president for housing in Islington, um, two years ago, we were going to put some CP Second supplementary, Mr. Councillor oh. <laughs> <Counselor> Hart. <laughs> um, in view of the fact that the Mayor for London promised to build sort of 50,000 new homes every year in London, um, how many has he actually built, or how many is he building in Wandsworth at the moment? Thank you. Councillor Johnson. I thank uh, Councillor Johnson for, for his question, which I'm very pleased to be able to answer. Uh, I'm sure all members uh, will welcome the fact that not only are we uh, moving ahead with plans for Northcote Library, uh, but this, this, um, this question could really have been entitled all of our libraries, uh, because we are in a remarkable position in this borough. Uh, we have our 11 libraries, uh, they are all open, they've all stayed open. Uh, all members may care to note that, including one who isn't sitting here right now. Um, and uh, they're thriving. The lending rates are uh, second highest in London. Uh, children's lending is actually going up. Uh, and we've managed uh, through our new uh, contractor, GLL, to actually increase the opening hours. Contrast this to what's happening uh, right across London, indeed up and down the country. And, and I was at our party conference uh, last week, which was um, uh, harmonious and constructive in contrast to some parties uh, and we had a particularly good session on libraries attended by the library minister uh, and it was clear that uh, lots of uh, councils have got real challenges uh, particularly those uh, being uh, run by uh, the Labour Party uh, who seem to be uh, closing libraries with great gusto. Um, our position is totally different and indeed we're moving ahead. We're not clinging on, we're moving ahead and we have plans to, uh, to refurbish or rebuild five of our 11 libraries. Supplementary. Supplementary. Councillor Johnson. Yeah, this is a very proud uh, record, uh, Cabinet Member, that as any change to uh, library service, even an expansion, is likely to create huge public interest, would the Cabinet Member ensure uh, uh, that uh, there's the fullest possible uh, opportunity for public and user consultation, including continuing liaison with ward members that it's been so good at so far? Thank Councillor Johnson for the supplementary. The, um, the answer is very clear, yes. Uh, I think it's one of the characteristics of our libraries that they, uh, they, they, they don't all look the same. Uh, they're all characteristic of their own part of the borough. Northcote is a particularly good example of that. Uh, it just happens it's also one I, I know best, and it, it very much it reflects the area that it's in. Uh, so I think it's, it's crucially important then that when we do develop our libraries further, further, that they evolve in keeping and in sympathy with what the residents in the immediate locality want to see. So uh, a very enthusiastic uh, yes, yes to that, uh, um, that question. And in fact, sort of just following on from something I'm mentioned the first part of the question, I did invite the, the minister to come and visit us. Uh, he was very, you know, I had a quick chat with him and uh, he was very interested in what we've been able to do in this borough in contrast to the rest of the country. So perhaps Northcote would be a good place to bring him. Councillor Critchard. Councillor Cook, very interested to hear. Because I personally find My question is this, is, it's good to hear about these other schemes, but when are we going to be reintroducing into borough loan schemes so that local people actually have access to the, what, the whole range of books available in London? And I can give you a list of ones that our reading group have found somewhat difficult to obtain in Wandsworth. That's a, that's a very, uh, I, do, I, th I thank the Council for the question. Uh, that's a very interesting, uh, interesting question. Do we want to be part of the consortium which includes boroughs like the one to our immediate east, uh, beginning with an L, uh, which uh, we could contrast their performance uh, on libraries uh, where they have uh, sit-ins and demonstrations, and I believe it's true to say one of their libraries, they actually now spend more on security guards than they did on running the library when it was a library. Um, which... 
which is high farce. And we don't want to be any part of a consortium that involves them, and I would argue we don't need to be. Um, we looked very carefully at the efficiency of being part of that network, and we decided that it did, didn't really make sense. Uh, if there are any specific problems, very happy to look at them, but I think uh, the vast majority of our residents are very happy with our library service. Thank you. That concludes the time for questions.